Hey guys, my name is Surin Rao from class 3 Angud. Hope you all doing well since the school has opened after this long MCO holiday. Okay, let me tell you all something. The reason why I make this video is to do a task given by my English teacher, Madam Puspa. It is about a place that I've already gone or the place that I'm interested to go there. Therefore, I went to Penang when I was 30 with my family. Penang located on the northwest coast of Peninsula Malaysia by the Malacca Strait. It has two parts, which are Penang Island, where the capital city is Georgetown, is located, and Sebrang Prai on the Malay Peninsula. They are connected by Malaysia's two longest road bridges, the Penang Bridge and the Sultan Abdul Halim Wadzam Shah Bridge. We choose this place because even though it's a small state, but it has a lot of unique places such as Fort Cornwallis, Komta Tower and others. We also have been gone to museums, restaurants and other spots like Batu Fringi, which is the beach. It was a long journey until I felt so tired but enjoy happy too. My, I wish that I can go there again when I grow up. Okay, that's all from me. I would like to thank you and bye. Hi, my name is Chai Chi Yang and I'm from Class Tiger A. Today, I want to present about the place that I want to go in the future. The place that I want to go in the future is Korea. I want to go to Korea with my family members or friends. It is because there have many famous scenery that I have saw on the Korean drama and I love to listen to K-pop too. I also want to taste the local food such as cheese hot dog, Korean barbecue, spicy fried rice cake, and more. Besides, I will also want to experience the local culture. I will be well prepared before I go to Korea. I will bring handphone, guidebooks, camera to taking photo, guidebooks for a reference, snacks, and money today. I think I will. I think I will be very excited and happy along the journey. Thank you. Hi everyone. My name is Tan Hong Ye. Today I would like to talk about the place that I will be going in the future. The place that I will be going in the future is Australia. This is because Australia has many beautiful scenery such as Kangaroo Island and Great Ocean Road. Besides, Australia also has many uh, delicious foods that I never tried before like Mad Thai. In Australia, I can also see many adventurous animals such as Kaula and Kangaroo. This is because Kaula and Kangaroo is animals that don't have in our country. I will bring the handphone and camera to catch on some beautiful scenery and adventurous animals as my beautiful as beautiful memory. Besides, I will bring my diary to record the things at the press that I do. I will also bring my notebook that I have been doing the notes about the storage attractions to prevent getting lost at Australia. Lastly, I will bring a lot of money to buy sour niche to my family and my friends and buy some decoration to decorate my rooms. I feel very excited for the journey in the future. Thank you. 
Hi guys, I'm Yashina Parmal from 3A class. I'm school at SMK Taman Bukit Indah, Johor Bahru Johor. My English teacher is Madam Puspa Suryati. Here, I want to share my future plan to everyone. I'm very interested to go to India in the future. It is because India is popular with different architecturistic temples. When we explore the historical temples, we know about the different ethnics and cultures. Apart from that, we know about the history of the temple. Moreover, we can know about the different ethnics and cultures we are explore the architecturistic temples. The Holy Spirit that spreads in our body gave us good vibes for our body and give us peaceful mind. During the travel, I also bring some snacks, jackets, camera, selfie road and plain water. I feel very blessed from God when I explore the historical temples in the future. Thank you. Have a pleasant day. Bye bye. Hi guys, I'm Phoebe from 3A and today I'm going to discuss about a place that I want to go in the future, which is Korea. I really want to go to Korea because of its magnificent scenery and tourist attractions such as the Jeju Island, the Gyeongbokgung Palace, and the Milno Markets. I also want to go to Korea to pursue my dreams, which is becoming a K-pop idol. I am also really interested in the culture there as well. The delicacies there is also really good. The ones that I've heard of is the bokki, which is spicy rice cakes, kimchi, which is fermented vegetables, but is mostly cabbages, and japchae, which is stir fried noodles. I also want to experience the seasons there, as Malaysia does not have any seasonal changes. And I will bring some snacks from home, just in case I am not used to the foods there. And also, I will bring my journals so I can do it in the hotel when I'm bored because I'm a really active person. That's all from me. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Hey guys, my name is Ha Sok Shin. I am from SMK Tamabuki Inda and I am studying in 3A classes. I am going to share a place I want to travel. I want to go to Taiwan in my future when I have enough money with my friends. In Taiwan, have a small city called Taipei. In Taipei, have a lot of delicious and Taiwan snack in Shilin Night Market, such as braised pork rice, sweet potato bowl, and pure milk tea. I am a foodie, so I want to taste their delicious and special food. This is also a reason why I wanted to I want to go to Taiwan. Beside that, in Taipei also have a lot of tourist attraction that let me interested to go and learn a lot of things like Taipei 101 Taipei 101 is one of the tallest taller skyscraper in in the world beside that Longshan temple also a good place for curious attractions people come here to pray for pray for future and good good for good futures and health. I will bring my wallet, luggage, handphones and other important things when I go aboard to Taiwan. 
I feel that I am look forward to Taiwan travel. It is because I love there so much. That is all from me. Thank you. Hi everyone. How are you? I hope you are fine. My name is Li Zilian. I come from SMK Taman Putinda and I am studying in 3A class. Today, I will talk about the place that I will hope to go. The place that I will hope to go is Japan. This is because the life in Japan is what I yearn for. Example, Japan's environment can be clean enough to raise the fish in the church fully equipped and cleanliness and more. I will bring a camera over there. It is because I want to take some pictures of the beautiful scenery. I will also bring a notebook over there. I want to record all the good times. I will bring I will bring my can uh, my phone to Japan. I can contact my family when I get lost. I will also bring some snacks. It is because I will be hungry during such a long drive. I will also bring some games. When I am bored, I can play the games with my younger siblings. I will be very happy if I travel to Japan. That was my dream since childhood. Okay, that's all for today. Bye. I am from SMK Taman Buke Inda and I study in 3A class. I want to go to Paris, the capital of France when I grow up, which is a city steamed in art and culture. The reason I want to go there because there are the most famous monuments in the entire world, the Eiffel Tower. At night time, the tower lights out in shimmering gold, and nice garden are surrounding the the tower. I will take my backpack along this travel. First, I will bring my high end digital camera to take some photo of the Eiffel Tower. Besides, I will bring some novel to increase my vocabulary and also writing abilities. Then, I will also bring a notebook. I can use it to learn how to observe and record the part of the journey. Not only that, I will bring a travel chest set. It is because its design is simple to carry as well as easy to play on the road. Lastly, I will bring a tablet where I am traveling. It is because I can use it to watch a film or drama. I am excited to go to Paris and start my journey in the future. I hope that they are coming soon. Thank you. Hi everyone, good morning. My name is Anjie I come from SNK Taman Buginda and I am the student of Diga Ango. Today, I am going to talk about the country that I dream to have a visit. I would like to go to Japan with my family in the future when I have money. It is because I want to go to a hot spring and it will be relaxing for me. Besides that, there are many beautiful scenery and I can enjoy the delicious food such as sushi and sashimi. After that, I am interested in the Sakuraville and the culture of the Japan. Then, 
Before I go for the travel, I will bring along my phone and a Canon camera for me to take some photos as a memory. I will also bring along a suit or jacket because the weather over there is very cold. I will not leave out my journal and a tourism guide map too. I look forward to have a travel to Japan once a day. I will walk up to make my dream realize. That's all for me. Thank you. Hi everybody, I'm Tam Weishan from SMK Taman Bukit Indah and study in 3A. Last November, my family and I went to Malacca. We went there to enrich our knowledge and improve our relationship. I had brought a camera to take pictures for memories. I also brought my handphone to contact with each other. Then, I brought a map so that we will not get lost. I brought the notebook to record the history of Malacca. Lastly, I had brought sunscreen to protect my skin. I was as happy as a lark to go Malacca because there were many interesting places. Hello, Assalamualaikum to all Muslims. I hope you are having a great time with your friends and family. My name is Kistina Balkis Benti Swazal and currently 15 years old. I am studying in class 3 Angkun from SMK Taman Bukit Indah. The title of today's video is The Place That I Would Like To Go. The place that I would like to visit is Moraine Lake in Canada 5 years from now. The lake water is in a vivid shade of turquoise. It can change in intensity through the summer as the glaciers melt. Set in the Rock Valley of the Ten Peaks, Moraine Lake is surrounded by mountain, rock piles, and waterfalls, creating a scene so stunning that it almost seems unreal. It's an iconic, it's an iconically a jaw-dropping place that is surely leave a lasting impression behind. Additionally, I will also bring some other things. One of them is my Polaroid camera so I could take a lot of picture to share it or sell it. Mm. I will also bring my summer clothes and travel kits. Uh, normally, I will also bring my Maggi because it is really hard to find a halal restaurant overseas. If I get a chance to go there, I will definitely be over the moon and enjoy my time diligently there. It's the end of the video. Um, till then, bye! It is so rude of me to not show you how beautiful the place is. So, yeah! Hello everybody, I'm Bong Katrin from Tikangkong in SNK Taman Bukinda. Last February, I went to Thailand with my family and relatives. We traveled to there to reduce our stress and burden the heroin. For the trip, I brought my handphone to keep contact with my friends and share my journey to them. I also brought my favorite snack and biscuit to share with my cousin on the trip. Beside that, I brought my camera to take picture when we reached a beautiful attraction. When we went back to hotel to rest, I took out my diary to write down my journey. Last, I brought some table games such as Uno to play with my cousin when we stay at hotel. About the trip, I felt joyful and interesting because there are many beautiful scenery and I also could use this chance to get along with my family and relative. Hello everyone, my name is Lam Wangye. I come from SMK Taman Bukit Indah and I'm a student of 3A. Today, I would like to talk about the plans that I want to travel. The plans that I want to travel is Beijing. Beijing is a is a capital of China and I want to go to Beijing in the future. I think I will go to Beijing when I when I have a lot of money 
and I will go there with my friends. The reason that I want to go to Beijing is I want to go to present close talk. Close talk is a traditional comedy performance, and the modern close talk is made up of four skills. It is speaking, imitating, teasing, and singing. The second reason is Beijing has a lot of refreshment, such as Beijing rock duck, Chinese dumpling, noodle with soy so so bean paste, and so on. I really want to try refreshment in Beijing, um, especially is Beijing roast duck. The third reason is Beijing has a lot of famous ancient buildings that we can see in the drama. Such as Tiananmen Square, the place, the place, the palace, museum, temple of heaven, the Great Wall, and so on. The thing that I will bring to Beijing is camera, handphone, wallet, luggage, passport, and so on. I'm very excited because Beijing is a very interesting thing plans. Place for me, and I hope the day will coming soon. That's all for me. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Chin Kai Li. Today I would like to talk about the place I want to go in future. I'm planning to go to Beijing, China, with my best friends when I grow up. I want to go there because Beijing has four cities, and I like Atom the most. There are many famous places we can visit in China. First, I would like to visit the Hongliu Temple. It is located in Hongliu Mountain and is the best place for a close view of the red leaves. I'm sure that the view there is beautiful and picturesque. Besides, I would also like to visit Beijing Forbidden City. It was the former Chinese imperial palace and state residence of the Emperor of China from Ming Dynasty. Moreover, I would also like to visit the Summer Palace. It is the largest royal park in China and greatly influenced Chinese landscape with its famous natural views and cultural interests, which also has been recognized as the Museum of Royal Garden. Uh, if I go there, I'll bring my passport to brush, to paste, Closes, um, camera, and my lovely sketchbook because I like drawing. I like I would like to draw the beautiful views of China as memory. I feel so excited to go there because it may be my first time to travel abroad to China. Thank you. Hi, my name is Melody from Three A. I want to go France in the future when I grow up and have a stable job. The place that I want to go is Paris. Why I want to go here? It is because Paris is a beautiful city, which is romantic city at the world. To see the famous Eiffel Tower, and I would like to see the beautiful greenery at Paris as well. Suitable for watching the beautiful greenery at night. That would be romantic. The things that I have to bring is handphone, camera, diary, medicine, and winter clothing. I'm very excited if I can travel to Paris, and that would be great. Bye bye. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning to Madam Bustpa and my dear friends. My name is Nur Kairina Bute Yusaini. I am 15 years old and studying in SMK Tamanuki Inda. I am from class Triangul. I hope everyone is doing well since we're just back to school after MCO holiday has ended. The reason I make this video is to do a box that is given by Madam Puspa. The title of this video is should be either the place I've already gone to or the place I'm interested to go. Therefore, the place I've already gone to is Langkawi Island. If I am not mistaken, my family and I went to Langkawi Island when I was 9 years 
years old. Bakawi Island is a district and an archipelago of 99 islands in the Andaman Sea, some 30 kilometers off the mainland coast of northwestern Malaysia. The islands are a part of the state of Kedah, which is adjacent to the Thai border. Just Langkawi Island as our holiday trip because even though Langkawi is small, there's a huge amount to do there and you will find some engaging museums, shopping outlets, and other spots like aquariums and craft villages. The island also has a duty-free status, so if you want to go shopping, then this is the place to do it. However, it's true that it's a long journey for us to arrive to the destination and I might get bored so I have decided to take a thing to do while we are traveling. So, I brought my diary to write my thoughts and feelings during the trip. I think writing down my feelings helps me to reduce and release any stress which I have accumulated over time. I am happy to be there because it is a picturesque island. It can be a suitable trip for all ages as we can do many activities there. I think the trip was worth it and enjoyable for us. Hello everyone, I'm Pritika from Tree Angkor. Today I would like to talk about a place I would like to visit in future. Everyone has a place that they would like to visit at least once in their lifetime. For me, it's Denmark. Denmark is a country in Europe. The colorful street and beautiful architecture caught my attention. Do you want to know an interesting fact about Denmark? Let me tell you. Denmark has reported the most happiest country in the world. Wow, who wouldn't want to go to Denmark now? Five things I would like to bring with me to Denmark are First, my snack Second, camera to capture the beautiful moment Third, a good pair of shoes to walk throughout the day Fourth, my storybook to read during the traveling time Last but not least, a travel router How would you feel if you get a chance to visit your favorite destination once in your lifetime? For me, I'll... I will be as happy as a clan if I get to visit Denmark once in my lifetime. I think that's all from me. Thank you for watching the video. Bye. Hello everyone, I'm Hoisin and I'm from 3A. I hope I can go to Japan with my family in the future because there is very clean and the residents there are very nice. I would also like to visit the highest mountain in Japan, Mount Fuji. There are also other beautiful landmarks like Tokyo Tower, Tokyo Imperial Palace, uh, Imperial Tokyo, Golden Pavilion, and so on. I would like to visit Japan because I can widen my horizon and increase my knowledge about the history of Japan. I will bring my camera and snap the beautiful landscape there. Besides, I will bring some books and my phone because the journey to Japan is too long and I might get bored so I can use it to spend my time on the plane. I will also bring some money to buy the souvenirs there. Notebook is also the most important thing as I can use it to jot down my journey in my book. I will also bring some medicine just in case. Moreover, I will also bring uh, MP3 because I like to listen to the music to release my stress. I think I will be very excited and elated if I go to Japan one day. That's all for now. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Itong from SNK Tamabugenda and I would like to go to New Zealand which is an incredible destination to discover in the future when I have money. I want to go there because I like their culture which is very unique and it is relaxing for me. I expect to go to the Queenstown for an adventure. I would like to go bungee jumping 
and it must be a quite exciting activity to relieve myself. The most spectacular glacier can also be seen in New Zealand, and we can take a helicopter to the top of the mount the glacier and walk onto the Friend Joseph and Fox Glacier. Moreover, New Zealand has a good public transportation, such as bus, so I can go any place conveniently. I prefer to bring my smartphone, a sunny camera to take pictures, some beautiful dresses as my attire, some earrings to make me look nice, and some tasty snacks. These are my necessities. It will be a great journey and I will have so much fun there. It will be an unforgettable day in my life and I will keep on traveling around the world. Thank you. Bye. Hi, my name is Celine and I'm studying in class 3A. Today I'll be talking about an assignment that was given to us by our English teacher, which is Madame Puspa. And the topic today is where we would like to go. For me, I would love to go to Bora Bora with my friends. Bora Bora is an island in French. And I would love to go there because I have seen a lot of YouTube videos and or vlogs of Bora Bora and the scenery there looks fantastic. I would really love to experience it myself. And I would bring along five things to Bora Bora. First thing is a camera. Um, because uh, I can take a lot of pictures there as memories. And the second thing is my phone because of social media. And we can even use Instagram, Insta stories to record down all the memories that we have at Bora Bora. And next thing is I would maybe download some movies that we can bring over to watch like at night or when we're having snacks. And next thing I'll bring is snacks, food. Food is very important. We need to eat food to survive. <laughs> and um, yeah. And next, last thing is I will bring along some board games so that we can play when we are bored, like when we have nothing to do. And I would feel very happy over the moon if I am able to go to Bora Bora. So I will, I will study hard, work hard, so that I can save up enough money to go to Bora Bora one day with my friends. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Ngai Chayu from 3A. Today, I want to talk about a place that I want to visit. I want to visit Australia in the future when I have money. The reason I want to visit Australia is I love nature in Australia. The scenery at Australia is very beautiful, such as green grass, blue sky, and many more. I love also cute animals in Australia. In Australia, there are many white kangaroo and koala it very interesting. Besides that, I also want to bring a camera to Australia. I can take photo when I see some good scenery in Australia and share it with my friends. Last, I'm very excited to take a visit at Australia in the future. I hope my dream will come true in one day. Where will you like to visit? We all have a place that we will love to visit at least one in our lifetime. My name is Wong Wing Kay and I am from 3A class. Today, I would like to share with you the place that I want to visit in the future. Since I was a kid, I had a dream to visit Japan. Japan is an amazing tourist destination as it offers many unique experiences that you will not find in any other part of the world. There are some reasons why Japan is my dream place to visit. The first reason is the food are great. 
Japan is filled with many special food, such as sushi and ramen. So, I have enjoyed many delicious and special food during my trip. The second reason is Japan is beautiful. The country is really beautiful and there are so many attractive places to visit, such as beautiful blue pond, waterfall, and bamboo forests. There are some things that I will bring when I visit Japan. I will bring a camera, handphone, passport, drawing books, and so on. I am going to use my camera to photograph the beautiful scenery of Japan. Then, I will also draw the scenery on my drawing book. I am looking forward to that day. I believe it must be an interesting journey. That's all. Thank you for listening. Hello everyone, I'm Chen Wen from 3A Cast. I study at SMK Taman Bukit Indah. Today, I would like to share about the place I'm interested to go. I hope that I can visit the place with my family or both some friends. I wanted to go Egypt when I have earned my money. I wanted to go there because it is very exciting for me and my family or both some friends like the big pyramid of Egypt. There are also many history places that I can visit such as Egyptian Museum, Alexandra, White Desert and many more. I probably take the sun cream and head because the weather of Egypt is very hot. The sun cream and head can protect my skin. Besides that, I also take a camera because I can take many beautiful photos as a memory. Apart from that, I will bring a map to make sure that I won't get lost at Egypt. Furthermore, I will bring some snacks because I will feel hungry when during long traveling. I won't forget to bring some money for shopping, enjoy scrumptious local delicacies, and buy some souvenirs. I think it will be a unforgettable and sweet memory for us. Hope our relationship can getting more better and better. That's all for me. Thank you. Good morning, Madam Pusda and my dear friend. My name is Da Xiang Wei. I'm from 3A. Today, I'm going to talk about a place that I had visit during my school holiday. I had went to Cameron Highland, which is located in Pahang with my family. It is a popular place in Malaysia because it located at the peak of the mountain and the weather is cool in about 16 Celsius to 18 Celsius, such as aircon. We went there by car. It was a long journey. We had brought a lot of food and clothes such as jacket and long jeans. I also brought my camera that I had bought last week to take many photos as a memory. When we reached there, I was amazed when I feel the cool breeze and saw the beautiful scenery there. We had an enjoyable time. We had visit many famous places there such as Strawberry Farm and Tea Garden. It was my first time I picked the strawberry myself. The strawberry is juicy and tasty. I was very lucky because I had many opportunities to explore many things. It was an unforget- unforgettable journey for my life. Thank you. My name is 
Chi Maman. I am student from SMK Taman Bugi Inda. Today, I want to share about five things that I can bring in a long journey. I want to go to Britain in future when I have money. Britain is an ancient and charming country. The first station in Britain must be London Bridge. I will take my camera to take picture when I see the beautiful scenery on both sides of the Thames River. Besides, the weather in the Britain is white, so I will always bring an umbrella when I go out. In addition, Britain food features are mashed potato, baked potato, and spicy potato wedge. The Britain love potato very much, so I will get ready to spend my money on eating potatoes. Next, the Britain are the people who love to read in public, so I will take a book on to the Britain. It may be useful when I on I on the subway or on the bus. I can learn knowledge when I am in the journey. Last, I will bring my phone. This is to contact my family to report safety. I think I can enjoy and be happy on this journey. Thanks for watching this video. Hello everyone, my name is Chudani. I am a student from SMK Taman Bukinda and studying 3A class. Today, I am going to share with you the place that I wish to visit it and which is not cold. I hope to visit there with my family when I am able to afford the expense of this journey. The reason that I wish to visit this place is they provide magnificent views like our love and animals which have been listed as endangered species like polar bears. We would bring cameras to record all wonderful moments as our memory and food to cram our stomach which rumbling with hunger. Besides that, we will bring first aid box which used to treat the illness and injuries by ourselves and books to spend time on flight with jacket which can keep us warm. Lastly, I will be on Club 9 because it will be my first experience to see this creature and scenery that I have never seen before. Alright, that's all for me. Thank you very much. Bye. Hi, my name is Amanda and I'm from the class 3A. Today I'll be discussing about where I would want to visit in the future, and that is Canada. Canada is a country in the northern part of North America, and I personally believe that it's one of the most beautiful countries out there. Canada is famous for its maple syrup, which are frequently used on pancakes. And speaking about pancakes, I'm hungry. Great. Furthermore, I would like to visit places such as the Niagara Falls. It's a city, but there's the famous tourist attraction, which has the waterfalls. I really find peace in watching water pouring down. I don't know why. Also, I would want to visit the Quebec City, which is well known for its historical landmarks. And not only that, I would want to visit the Banff National Park, which is located in Alberta. And I've heard that Alberta is one of the best provinces to observe the Northern Lights. Next, I'll be talking about things that I'll bring to Canada, and the first thing I'll bring is my camera to capture great sceneries while traveling around. And second is my phone. I would upload my photos and videos on social medias, and I have my GPS app to show me around. And the third thing I'll bring is medication. 
just in case if I feel uncomfortable or ill or else I wouldn't be able to enjoy my stay and I would bring little snacks to just give you a little taste of home and the last thing I'll bring is um, probably books yeah books to read and planes and read while you're bored in the hotel I would feel thrilled and delighted if I could go to Canada since it's a goal to achieve I promised myself to work hard and get my own money so I could travel around the world alone or family <sighs> it'll be really fun that is all for my discussion bye bye hi everyone today I want to talk about the place I had been went last year December during the school holidays I went to the Saru Beach Resort which was just a stone's throw away from my house I went there with my family, my father, mother, younger sister, and me. My family and I went there by my father's car. Before we went there, my mother remembered us to bring some necessary things such as swimming attire, swimming ring, food, camera, mobile phone, and the most important is sunscreen. When we arrived at the beach, my younger sister and me was uh, as happy as a lark and started dance together. After that, my father parked the car properly and we went into the beach. My younger sister and me can't wait to swim in the crystal sea. On the same time, my mother and uh, my mother was listening the radio while my father was reading the newspaper. This was a chance for us to get us a uh, get rid of the a uh, hustle and bustle of city life. I am glad to have the opportunity to hear the sounds of the wind. After a while, we were hungry and thirsty. Therefore, we found a cool place that was under a tree. We ate like wolf because we were extremely hungry. Later, we decided to went back home because it was already 6 p.m. We went back home reluctantly because it was interesting and thrilling. It was an unforgettable day for me. I hope I can go there in the future. I also want to tell my friend about my holiday because it is so amazing. That's all for my Nisaru Beach River. Thank you for listening. Bye! Hello everyone. My name is Lai Xing Xuan. I'm a student from SMK Taman Bukit Today, I'm going to speak about a country that I will go in the future. I will bring my family to China, which is a country full of different cultures and many history buildings such as Forbidden City and the Great Wall of China in Beijing. I will visit it when I have enough money. I want to visit China as it is a big country which is full of different historical buildings ranged from Paleolithic age until the last feudal society Qing Dynasty. I will bring a high technology camera to take this picture, a China history book which is my favorite book, a notebook, some snack and my handphone. If I am really given the chance to go to China, I will fail on the seven heaven. This is a pie in the sky for me, which is, is, is impossible to travel now. Hi, I'm Chang Hazun. Today, I'm going to talk about the place that I would like to go with my family in the future. I will go to London because there are a lot of places and we can enjoy them. For instance, I will go to Imperial War Museum. Sea Life London Aquarium and London Eye to learn some new knowledge and history. I will also bring some things to do while traveling. It is because it will be a long journey. The first thing that I will bring is a camera. I will use it to take some pictures and send it to my friend. Besides, I will bring a diary to record the activities that I have done in the journey. Moreover, I will also bring some crackers to prevent from being hungry, such as chocolate bars and biscuits. Not only that, I will also bring a laptop to watch some films while traveling. 
In addition, I will bring board games such as Monopoly, Chess, and play it with my family. At last, I have no doubt that I will be very excited while having a trip in London. Hi, my name is Chani Dotrov Angoon and I'm from 3 Angoon. Based on the task given, I would like to visit Sino, which is located in Mexico in the future when I'm working. The reason I'm really very eager to visit Sino is because of the crystal clear turquoise water that really attract me. As an adventurous enthusiast, I will also get a wonderful opportunity to try some enthralling water activities such as diving with the colorful tropical fishes in Sanot. Besides that, there are some essential equipment needed for the trip. The most important equipment is of course our HD digital camera where we can take ourselves photos, diving, and post them in the social media or so keep them as our memory. Then, snacks and a bottle of water is a must to keep ourselves energized and hydrated during the trip. Maybe we can bring some storybooks, journal, or our handphones to entertain ourselves during the trip. We don't have to bring the diving equipment as they will provide us. So I'm feeling really exuberant about the trip to Sino. I'm very assured that this trip will bring myriads of great memories to me. That's all for me. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Anas. I'm from 3A. I'm studying at SMK Tamabuki Indah. Today, I'm gonna share with you all about my vacation trip in India. In last December, my family and I went for a vacation trip in North India. Among the items that my family brought during the vacation was jacket, socks, thermal wear, gimbal, and boots. We fly off from Singapore to New Delhi. We arrive at New Delhi around 1.54 a.m. India time. Once we reach Delhi, we took a private bus and heading to Agra. It took around five hours to reach there. When we reach Agra, we check in the hotels and freshen up before having a visit to the Taj Mahal. We also have a lunch, I mean lunch, at the nearest restaurant. For the rest of the day, we visit a historical places in Agra, such as Agra Fort. On the next day, we head to Delhi Airport around 3 a.m. because we need to fly off to Srinagar. Once we arrive at Srinagar Airport, we took a private bus to check in hotel and drop some stuff there. For the rest of the day at Srinagar, we visited Shalima Bar Mughal Garden. And on the following day, we have a Shikara ride on Dal Lake. For your information, we stayed on a houseboat on the second day at Srinagar and it was my first time living in a houseboat. For the rest of four days, we've headed to Gulma and Palga. At these places, we see snow for the first time and I was stunned with the hotel view which was located behind a river that descends from the mountain. We also experienced horseback riding in mountain or known as Mini Switzerland. On the last day, we visited Betak Valley to capture some scenery for our memory later. 
right after photos and videos are being taken, we directly pack our stuff and headed to airport. Suddenly, all flights were cancelled and need to be postponed to two more weeks due to heavy fog. Due to this situation, we need to spend one more extra night in Srinagar to figure out the solutions. After one day figure out the solution, we managed to get a car so we could drive from Srinagar to Delhi Airport. And it took one day to reach Delhi. Once we've reached Delhi Airport, we directly check in and get our boarding passes. We also have lunch in the duty-free area which is located inside the airport. Right after lunch, we started to board the plane to Singapore. Around 4 a.m., we've reached Changi Airport. We were in cloud nine on the way to home. That's only from me. Bye. Hello, I'm Wong De from the class 3A of the School of SMK Tamabuki Inda. Recently, me and my friends are going on holiday to the Tibet that located between Nepal and China. It was a tourist attraction, attraction that attracted many people to witness the miracle of the place. The place includes the biggest mountain, the highest mountain on the world, the Mount Everest that heights almost 10 kilometers. I thought it was an interesting trip that with a great landscape. It takes two to three weeks. We might get bored so we want to take some things to do while we are traveling i would like to bring so i would like to bring a camera because it was extremely rare change to visit this place that full of the maker so i will miss the opportunity to take some photos as a souvenir if not, I would be very pretty because it would maybe never to visit it because it, I will never to visit to here second time. Besides, at first I was willing to about to bring a laptop to watch a film on there or not, but my leader told me there that there was have a very terrible internet. So my idea was wipe up. That's why. So I think that bring a notebook for writing is more significant. It would take to write down my journey in the book to let this amazing trip become unforgettable for me. Lastly, I hope this opinion would be the best choice for me to help me to spend my time alone for the trip. Hello everybody, I'm Jolin Liu Fang Yu from SNK Laman Bukit Indah and study in Tri Angor. Last December, I went to Genting Highlands with my family and relatives. Genting Highlands is a famous tourist attraction that located in Pahang, Malaysia. We went there to release our stress and glock closer with our relatives. I had brought my phone to contact with others when we were not together. I also brought some snacks to eat because the journey was very far. Besides that, I brought my notebook to record my travel journey. Moreover, 
I broke some table games to play with my cousins while we were in the hotel. Lastly, I brought a camera to take pictures of us and the sceneries. I felt on cloud nine to go Genting Highlands because I could meet with my relatives and there was a interesting place.